Scott Bernstein coming at you here from OG Pod headquarters. We're going to be rolling out a Patreon very soon, $5 a month, a lot of exclusive content. I'm excited to share it with you guys. So be looking for it. Check it out. Coming in August, OG Pod, Patreon members only. Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to do some 1% reporting going out to Pagan's Nation, giving you an update on Conan the Barbarian, Keith Richter, the uh, you know Svengali-like godfather of Pagan's Nation right now, uh, finishing up his prison sentence in a state penitentiary in New York City. He should, or not, sorry, New York State, in New York State, um, he should be out. Uh, by late this year, early next year. But uh, I want to add some color to some of our reporting from a couple months ago that we're, we're hearing here at uh, OG Pod headquarters about the succession in, you know, for lack of a better term, acting bosses. Uh, Conan, you know, has through, through great um, media attention has launched the blue wave mandate when he took power in the late 2000s. Tens a campaign to expand the pagans nationwide. A lot of violence has ensued. He's gotten he got locked up, you know, two three years ago. Uh, and initially, uh, Robert Francis, Big Bob Francis from Virginia, had taken over as president, keeping the seat warm. And we reported uh, earlier this year that Francis had stepped away and had been replaced by Jerry the Tank Tanaglia out of Pittsburgh. Um, so that's already been reported, but we've now found out the reason for that changeover in leadership, and it wasn't as copacetic as originally believed. Uh, Big Bob Francis is one of these guys, he's in his mid-60s, I think, just uh, from what I'm told, he's like, if you know, if you guys know The Sopranos, he's kind of like a Bobby Bacala type, uh, a guy that uh, is a big teddy bear in a world of you know, wolves and lions and tigers. Not to say that he's not formidable or, you know, dangerous or feared, but just known as somebody that everybody liked and get along and everybody around the country likes uh, and gets along with. Um, didn't have any aspirations of, of being a long-term boss. Was honored by the, the decision to give him that post for a couple of years. So when he stepped away, I was told that, initially I was told that, it was just him not wanting to hold the position more than a couple of years. And it, it turns out to end up, it's going to be about a four year um, reprieve with Conan, uh, with, with, with Conan um, from being on the scene and that he, you know, I was told at the time, you know, gave up power uh, willingly. But now I'm being told that's not the case. And I'm getting this from both sides of the law uh, that big Bob was, for all intents and purposes, he was uh, pushed out. Um, and the reason why he was pushed out was because he had trouble playing nice with the Mongols, which uh, the Mongols MC out of California uh, a, has been a, a big cog in the wheel of the blue wave mandate uh, with uh, this kind of support alliance that they've, they've crafted with each other, uh, the pagans and, and Mongols. And I, I was just, informed that Big Bob could get along with everybody in the Pagans, but had trouble getting along with Mongols, that there were Mongol leaders that felt snubbed and disrespected by the kind of the ice that Big Bob was giving them. Um, and that it all kind of came to a head at a rally last fall where he walked, uh, Big Bob uh, offended a group of Mongol shot callers by kind of ignoring them. Um, in public. And it led to him being asked to leave. And uh, Tank Tanaglia, former vice, former national vice president, uh, stepping in uh, to be the, the, the seat holder for, for Conan when he comes back next year. So um, I don't think, you know, it's not going to result in any violence. I don't think that Big Bob is sitting there you know, vowing revenge or he left because he was told to leave and he, he didn't really make a fuss about it. Um, and now everybody's on the same page. Tank Tanaglia is, you know, on good terms with the Mongols and doing everything that you know, Conan wants him to do. 
And then I guess that was, you know, the most important thing at the end of the day. Uh, and I don't know why Big Bob had trouble uh, in his business relationship with Mongols, but, you know, I suspect, and, you know, you can call me out in the comments if this is way off, that uh, being from Virginia, Big Bob wasn't somebody that was encountering Mongols that much. Uh, and you, I guess you, you kind of fear what you don't understand or don't know, um, while other pagans over the last 10, 15 years had been dealing with Mongols. So, you know, that's just my, you know, armchair knee jerk analysis. But uh, Tank Tanaglia will uh, will will be in the spot as president, doing everything that Conan wants him to do. And then when Conan comes out, uh, most likely in early 2025, he will take back power and continue on the Blue Wave rampage. Uh, please, if you you know, we love bringing you the the latest news from the one percent world, from uh, La Cosa Nostra, the Italian mafia world from, you know, up in Canada and Montreal talking about uh, all the, the the insanity that's up there with uh, the Rizzutos and the Hells Angels and the street gang. So uh, we're uncovering the underworld for you here at OG. Please check back, uh, like, subscribe, share. We got a Patreon coming out very soon. Look for that. Um, Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.